Hey everybody, Salem the Gnome here coming at you with Dark Fear. Okay, so we're going to get back into the game. I was working on upgrading my armor. Still need more gold to do that, surprisingly. <laughs> oh, excuse me for a sec. Okay, so we've got these three locations. So I guess we'll just head to the first one. I think we're looking for a witch or something. I don't know. We're going to get attacked? Oh, dear lord. As you approach the woman, you notice a woman casually standing there looking at you. That's how you stand casually? You can't help but wonder whether she's a relative of someone buried her or just some lost soul in need of help. You finally pluck up the courage to, to speak to her and ask if she's okay. She gives you a look of horror and speaks softly. Do not cross the gate. Whoever enters will not come out alive. The banshee destroys all. That foul creature has prevented me from visiting my son's grave for many years. You can't help but feel sorry for her, and she sighs as she looks at the grounds with sadness. Tell me something. Have you ever lost a child to the devil? Nope. I have. My son was taken from me. All because of someone else's lust and greed. Huh. Depressing. <coughs> I won't rest until his soul's at peace. I spit curses on the monster who did this. May their soul be torn apart in hellfire for eternal damnation. All of a sudden, she perks up and stares at the gate. The Banshee! She comes! Over there, behind the gate! You look over at the cemetery gate. Is that a dark sa shadow you see? <laughs> Damn! The enemy has a specific weakness! What? I don't know what it is! Jeez! Damn it. That really surprised me. Okay, next location. Damn. That was scary. <laughs> okay, don't like it here much either. Yep, yep, yep. Uh You climb the snowy ice path towards the summit of the mountain and you're path is blocked by a mountain lion. Okay. 600 health? Seriously, dude? Okay. Oh, I only have iron bolts. Damn it. I really need to get some new ones. Okay, I'm gonna leave. And what do you know about a banshee? Lady, come on. You gotta help me here. Because it's gotta be rose quartz or onyx that does the damage against it. Anyway, for bolts, Cobalt costs 9 gold, but they do so much more, so I'm going to buy a bunch of those for now. So, let's head back here, or no, let's head back here. Okay, yep, mountain lion. Okay, I need to rearm with Cobalt. And attack. There we go. That's a bit better than doing 30 damage or whatever. Damn! Dude, come on, that's just rude. That's really rude. I hope you miss. Oh no. Okay, time to potion up. That's not gonna be helpful. Oh man, if only... It's not going to work because he knocks out 150 health every time. Yep, this isn't going to work. Unless he leaves me with 180, because then it might. Yeah, this will work. Okay. Providing he doesn't kill me. Yes, I can do it. Mm. Boom. Okay. Please have nothing jump scare me. Once was enough. Oh! You notice a, b a bizarre f ice formation sticking out of the ground. Upon closer look, they look like ice crystals. Although they are cold to the touch, they don't appear to melt as easily as regular ice. Perhaps there's something special about them. You pick a handful of them. It's a large, beautiful flower bed full of bright, beautiful flowers. Your head spins at the overwhelming scent coming from it. It's hard to believe it's flowers this fine would thrive in such a harsh, cold environment. You can only assume they're being well-maintained. Reach over and take a closer look. Oh, boy. 
All of a sudden you hear... Everything goes dark. Great. I don't wanna... Crap. Oh. You awaken to find yourself trapped inside a cage made of ice which sits in a large hallway. Oh, what is up with my voice? Hold on a sec. <coughs> God. Uh... The wind echoes across the rock walls, which are covered in a glistening coating of frost. Beautiful as it may be, you're oh, not overjoyed by the harsh hospitality of whoever lives here. You notice other ice cages nearby, which are all empty, with the exception of a few skeletons here and there. Looks like you're the only prisoner here. At least the only one who's alive. Touching the bars of the cage is a bad idea. Your skin sticks to them. Let's wait. There's no way you're getting out of here with some kind of help, without some kind of help. Please nothing jump scare me. I have red ice key crystals. Although not totally sure whether this will work, you get I decide to give it a try. Ice crystals! Woo! <coughs> uh, as you step out of the cell, come on, I don't even have any help. Uh oh, looks like they're not too happy about your little act of vandalism to the cage. They forcibly have. Oh! Hello, Ice Queen! You suddenly find yourself standing before a queen. The queen of the fortress who sits upon the majestic throne of ice. Though she's very beautiful, you get the impression she's cold-hearted. Heh <laughs> pun intended. She narrows her eyes and stares right at you. Her glare is harsh enough to pierce cold steel. She snarls and glares at you before speaking with a voice which is calm, but full of authority. Who are you? Answer me. Although you have no answer, you can do nothing but remain silent and tremble. I ask you a question. You barely speak up and tell her how you arrived here and about how what you're speaking... What you're speaking... About the witch you're speaking in the rounds. I was right. It was a witch. I couldn't remember. She pauses before sizing you over and carefully. I'm no fool and you're no magician. You came here uninvited to steal uh, steal my flowers and damage my property. And then despite, then tried to deceive me by loss, like some lying certain I should put you to death. You fall to your knees and beg her and beg and plead for her with mercy. Mercy? You wish me to show mercy after all the trouble you've caused? This could be your only chance of... Of surviving this situation. You beg her to let you go and offer to do anything in return. Her eyes narrow like slits as she glares at you for a while, pondering your plea. Pondering your plea. <clears throat> I may be willing to compromise. If you're willing to undertake an extremely dangerous task for me. Realizing this could be the ticket to your freedom, not to mention your life, you hastily agree. Very well. Beyond my mountain chasm it lies a cave. It's the only place in the... <clears throat> God, my voice. It's the only place in the valley where a rare species of firefly can be found. My place, my place, palace surgeon needs those fireflies for medicinal service. Bring me some of those fireflies, and I will not only grant you your freedom, but I will allow you your you permission to take whatever you please from my flower beds. But be warned, getting those fireflies will not be easy. The cave is inhabited by a fire demon. It will be necessary to defeat him in order to get to... Okay, I agree. <clears throat> Very well, you may leave, but do not attempt to flee the valley or go back on our agreement. Otherwise, I'll be forced to hunt you down and have you executed. Is that understood? Yeah. Good, now go get me that flower flies. Remember, I want them alive! Bye, Ice Queen. Can I get to town and, like, buy some stuff so I can survive? suppose it's decent to buy that now. <coughs> okay. What do you know about fire demons? Come on. Let me question you. Stupid people. Because it's probably got a special bolt I can use against it. Oh, uh, rose quartz or onyx? We'll go with onyx. <coughs> uh, buy one onyx bolt. Because that's about all we can do. Okay. Oh! Is it... I guess it's this cave that we would have to go to. Why didn't I heal? Fuck! Cancel. Cancel. Black race, yeah. Can I flee and then come back? Hi. Yeah. I need to heal. There we go. Now let's try this again. Traveling, traveling, traveling. Yay, black bears. Cool. How much health does he have? 650! Wonderful. Okay. How do you do less damage than the mountain lion? 
Wow, that was a shitty hit. Okay. Yep. Uh, probably should potion. Didn't want to use this. Rude. Stop hitting me. And I need to start hitting with accuracy, for God's sake. There we go. Okay, I got it. There we go. <clears throat> oh. Battle one, three hundred fifty gold. Thank God. Okay. I need to heal up and, you know, buy stuff so I won't die. Why did I do this? Against electricity, health regeneration. Okay, so just electricity and health regeneration. I'm gonna buy one of those, and then I'm gonna buy a rose quartz and. I'm just trying to figure out which one I need to use. <clears throat> and I don't have enough to buy that yet. Okay. In that case, I'll get what I need later for that one. And I'll go back to the tree and hope it works. Two minutes. Dang. I'll be back in two minutes when it's working again. Or when my health gets full. Whichever comes first. There we go. Yay. Rejuvenated. Restored. It's a large pit of lo of bright burning lava. Given this cold snow, yep. Regardless of which, the lava is blocking your way into the cave. Okay, fine. Then use the ice crystals. Good idea. Ooh, is that am I gonna get attacked now? Well, that was good thinking. Ah! As you enter the cave, a fiery apparition appears in front of you and begins to take the form of a devil-like being. You can only- this can only be the fire demon which the ice cream warned you about. He glares at you with anger and it looks like he's in the mood for a fight. The fire demon charges toward you without warning. You have no choice but to defend yourself. Okay! Fire demon approaches. Pew! 820 health? Seriously? This is- Shit. Okay. Ow. He takes 180 health. Okay, I can do one more attack. Then heal. Yep. All I have to do with that. <laughs> then he swipes at me. And then I attack him. And I hope I get the 100% for every round. Oh, shit. There's no way I can survive. Defend. 50% chance of success? Damn it. And now I am dead. Great. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, after humiliating defeat, yep. I can't use the tree again by any chance. Nope. Okay. Okay, what I really need to do is get more potions. If I can buy two, it'll be good. So I'm going to do some quick hunting. So that I can get the health potions. And why am I not paying attention? Okay. So I can get health potions. And I doubt I could upgrade my armor. But if I take long enough, maybe I could. So I'll be back. Okay. I got two more health potions. So we're going to try this. One more time, because we are just about out of time. <clears throat> oh, I only have six bolts left. This could be bad, actually. And it's not... It gets even worse. Okay. And I forgot to heal. Well! I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you liked it, click the like button. If you just liked it, click the like button. If you like the channel, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see all you in the next video. Hasta la bye bye!